Ciao! This is Vito from Vito's Italian Cucina. Good to see you again. Sure hope you're checking out our new website at vitositaliancucina.com. All kinds of great stuff there. Hey, guess what? Today, we're going to do linguini carbonaro. Linguini carbonaro. We're going to do linguini carbonaro thinni. Thinni, which means what? It's a smaller, it's a smaller uh, linguini. It's not as, as, as thick. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you around the horn and show you What's on the menu today and how we're going to put the ingredients together. This is so simple. You're going to enjoy it. Let's come on down. Here we go. We have some onion, some chopped onion. And this is called cipolla in Italian. That's right. And then we're going to slide on over to here. And look at this. This is my San Marzano. Look at this, baby. Look at this. San Marzano. Don't you love that, baby? You know? I wanted to show you how, how big it was next to my big head. Look at that. I love that. We just grew this. And then next to that, of course, is the linguine. Look at this linguine. It's like nice and thin, okay? It's a little bit uh, uh, thinner than a regular linguine. And then over here, we have some uh, parsley. This is pezzimolo, pezzimolo in Italian. And then over here, guess what this is right here? This is some green onions. So this is cipolla verde in Italian. Yeah, that's right. And then we have some nice uh, half and half. I'm gonna use half and half on this one, folks. Uh, this uh, recipe actually calls for uh, 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 just a regular heavy cream, but uh, I'm gonna try to stay away from that today. And here's what else I'm staying away from today. Uh, we're gonna stay away from salt as much as we can, okay? And uh, what I did was I decided uh, to go ahead and use a little bit of salted butter right there, and that's burro in Italian. And then underneath that is the garlic, which is aio. Can you see that, aio? That's aio. Okay, that's gonna go in the pan. And then of course, this is simple. This is pepper, which is Pepe. Pepe, I love that. My mother had a little puppy uh, poodle named Pepe. Boy, she was hot. She was all over the place, right? And then of course, we have the main ingredient for carbonaro. Okay, it's uh, prosciutto. This is prosciutto, which means dried ham. This is, a dom this is not a domestic. This is a uh, uh, imported uh, prosciutto I decided to get. And I want you to look how how thin, look at how thin this is. This is cut thin when you go to the uh, uh, deli to get it. Just get it. make sure they cut it really thin. Now, this has a, uh, uh, a habit of being a little salty. That's why I'm gonna be cutting back on the salt, okay? Now, in the pasta water, I decided just to put a little oleo, that's oil, and uh, no sale, no salt, okay? Usually I put salt in there, but not today. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna break into uh, slicing up the uh, prosciutto for you, and I'm gonna do it in strips. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the prosciutto in strips, and then I'm gonna cut them in half. Now, what I did was I bought a third of a pound of prosciutto from the deli. Uh, you may not use it all, but I get it because I'm Italian, and you know all Italians, they cook too much, they have too much food. So that's why I got it. I, I didn't wanna cut, cut anything short. Okay, so let's go on down and I'll show you what I'm doing. So just simply, I'm just gonna just cut it into strips like this, just like this, it's so simple. All right, here we are with the linguine thinne, that's the thin uh, pasta, and I only used a half a pound. I, the pound boxes that they come in, I only decided to use a half a pound, okay? So let's go on over to the double boil, or what they call a rolling boil water. Come on over. And get it up like this, and we just go ahead and we put it in, like so. Wow, I actually did that without spilling any. Can you believe it? Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just let it soak in just like that. There we go, just like that. I'll put this down. And we'll get a little stir in there. Like I said, what I did was I, there's no salt in here. Usually I put a little salt in, you know what I mean? And uh, I use a mineral salt, or uh, what I uh, like to do is stay away from the iodine so much. Anyway, no salt in this, folks. It's already starting to boil. We'll put the lid back on, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is come on over and we're gonna get our, our burro and our ayo. That's the uh, garlic. Okay, we're gonna put it in the pan. And I already preheated the pan. And there it is right there. Like that. Okay. 
Can you see that? Oh my gosh, if you could just be here right now and check out the aroma of this. I love garlic and butter. Don't you love garlic and butter? I love garlic and oil also, right? So now that this is all mixed in here just like this, you see that right there? Then what I do is I come over and I go get, this is the chipotle, okay? It's the chipotle. I'm gonna go and put that in now, okay? Just like that. Turn down the heat now. And we'll go ahead and just go ahead and let it saute. Very, very low. All right. Let's let that go ahead and saute for a little bit and uh, we'll take you through the next step. Ah, look how beautiful that looks. Look at that. It's a nice brown. The butter's nice and brown, but it's not burnt. You gotta be careful you don't get it too hot. Now we're gonna go on. I'm gonna stir the uh, pasta one more time here. Get a nice stir in. By the way, the whole idea here is if we could possibly do this, is to start your pasta and start your ingredients that you're cooking. And it's about 12 minutes for the pasta to be al dente. So it almost takes about 12 minutes to do the ingredients, okay? Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm adding the prosciutto into the mix. And here we go. The magic's, the magic has already begun. I'm going to put it in. Okay, just like that. There we go. And as you see, I uh, didn't use all of the prosciutto. You know, I said I got a third of a pound, but I didn't use it. So now I'm going to come back and I'm just going to go ahead and stir it. Stir it in, just like this, and let this start to cook. Start to cook down, get a little more heat there. That's good. So we start to cook it. Look at that. Oh, my God. Looks wonderful, doesn't it? Looks wonderful. Okay, a little prosciutto. And then now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, where did I put it? Here's a little bit of pepe, a little bit of pepe. So let's watch this here, this, just like this. I just want a little bit of pepe, just to give it a little zing in there, okay? Just like that, okay, and let it cook. From Vito's Italian Cucina, this is half and half. It's not uh, full cream, okay? It's not full heavy cream. I use half and half because I want to cut down on the calories too, okay? So now I'm going to pour a little bit in. This is how we do it, just to get it started. Just that's a good start right there. And we'll see how all that mixes up. See that, folks? Linguini. Carbonaro, a little bit more cream right there. Now we go ahead and make it like this. Look at that. Look, it's really cooking down really nicely now. Okay, and we've already added that and that, okay, just like so. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna add some little bit of prezimello, parsley, prezimello. And I'm just going to put just a little dab like this. Look at that. Just like this. Look how beautiful that looks. Not too much of this. Just a little bit like this. Just for flavor. And it looks beautiful. I love it to sing. A little bit of singing also to help. So it's a love. I have a love. A love for the food. Italiano. Uh, eh, a maron. Okay. So guess what? Guess what's coming? Guess what's coming? That's right. We're going to go with the... Uh, the chopped onions, uh, the green, uh, you know, they call these things, what they call them, come on, do you know? Huh? You don't know? Yes, this, this is chipola, this is chipola verde in Italian, okay? You know, it's just the little chopped onions, you know, from the green, the green, long green onions. And we're going to go ahead and put that in here now, okay? By the way, you were right about that, it was the, the chopped green onions. President Moore is in there too. 
And we're gonna go ahead and just we'll put them all in because you know that's gonna be so good. And we're gonna go ahead and check out the consistency right now. And we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. Look how beautiful that looks. It does really look good, doesn't it, folks? So we're really close right now. We're really doggone close. Okay. Don't go nowhere. We're getting ready to do the transfer. What do I mean by that? You'll find out. VitosItaliancucina.com. Okay. It's time to do the transfer. What's the transfer? The pasta to the ingredients to make our carbonara. Let's go on over and I'll show you what this looks like. So, by the way, I've already tested this, and right now, it's perfection in terms of being al dente. So now, what I'm going to do is, usually what I do is I drain the pasta, and I wash it off, but not in this dish. We want to keep some of the starches in, okay? So we basically just do it this way, and I'll show you how I do it. I just take a bit, see what I got going here, and I let the water drain off. See that? And then I come right over, right into the pan. I'm gonna get just a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more. There we go. Whoopsies. There we go. One more. Whoopsies. Right in the pan. There we go. Okay, we got it there. And then we just go ahead and we start to mix it up. We'll mix it up. We'll mix it up. And look at this. Oh my God! Look how beautiful this looks. Look how beautiful this looks. I'm telling you, this looks so good. Let's see if I can do this for you, folks. Look at that, huh? Huh? that. Oh my God. This looks so good, guys. Huh? Look at that. And there you have, ladies and gentlemen, just go ahead and feast your eyes on that. Linguine carbonara. Vito style. We're going to go ahead and dish it up for you. And we'll go ahead and take a bite. Because I can't wait. All right, look at this. Look at this, linguine carbonara. That's right. Now, you know what? I might have mentioned during our show here that I call it carbonara. That's because I like that magician. His name's carbonara, but this is carbonara. Okay, so I can't wait to taste this, and I know you can't either, so go ahead and try to make this, ladies and gentlemen. It's vitositaliancucina.com. All right? Subscribe. I love it. Come and visit us. Be a part of the familia. Come and have some fun, sing, and love. I'm gonna go try it now, come on. Oh my gosh, here we go, I'm so excited. I don't know which hand to do. Okay, I'll go here, just like this. And you know what, this is gonna be a piece of this and then spoon it. They say don't do this, they say don't use a spoon. Forget about it. This is how I do it, baby, look at this. Now I want you to look at that. Look at that, can you see that? Watch this. Mm. I'm at a loss for words. I'm gonna tell you something. <clears throat> wow, that is so delicious. And guess what? I added no salt. The only salt that's in here is the salt from the butter. If you don't wanna use the salted butter, you don't have to. But you're gonna have the prosciutto, which is gonna have some salt in it. And I'm gonna tell you something. This is not salty. You know, I know salt when I taste it, and this is not it. For videos of Chinese cucina, uh, ciao for now. Arrivederci.